Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to talk about link layer switches. So what's a link layer switch? It's a link layer device and it takes an active role in forwarding and storing Ethernet frames. What a, what a switch does is that it examines an incoming frame's MAC address and then selectively forwards this frame to one or more outgoing links. The, uh, the switch is transparent, that is, the hosts within the network are unaware of the presence of switches in the network. A switch is also plug and play and self-learning, that is, switches do not need to be configured. You, you can just buy a switch from a, a vendor and just plug it into your network. This helps the network administrators greatly because they don't have to configure the switch. So let's uh, have a deeper understanding of how switch works. We just said that switches are plug and play and they are not and hosts in the network are not aware of the presence of the switches. So the way a switch is introduced in the network is shown in this figure. That is here is a switch and all these different uh, hosts are connected to this switch. We are different interfaces. So this is a kind of a start topology. What the switch can do is because of its presence, it can allow multiple transmissions to take place simultaneously. That is, A and A prime can send <clears throat> the frames to each other at the same time as B and B prime without any collisions. So because of the presence of a switch, multiple simultaneous transmissions can take place at the same time without collisions. But the biggest question is, how does the switch know that A prime is reachable via interface 4 and B prime is reachable via interface 5? So this is a question. We know that A, so first A is going to send out its data frame along uh, along its int, along interface 1. A believes that A prime can be reached along interface 1. But in the middle, the switch is going to intercept that packet and then it's going to forward, um, I mean frame, and it's going, it's going to forward this frame along interface 4 at, through which it can reach A prime. The question is how does the switch know that A prime is reachable by 4? The answer is the switch maintains something like a uh, switching table, like a switch table. It is. It looks very similar to a routing table. What it has is that the MAC address of the host and the interface to which the host can be reached and a timestamp. So, so what it keeps is it keeps a list. It keeps track of to which interface a, a particular host can be reached. The next is once this uh, like. It's clear that a switching table can be entry, uh, can be created, but then how are these entries created in the table? Does the switch use something like a routing protocol? Actually, it, the, the, the protocol that the switch uses is different from a routing protocol. A switch, uh, switches are self-learning. A switch learns which hosts can be reached through which interfaces when, it, when these hosts transmit frames. And each time a switch receives a frame, it records the sender and the interface to which that sender can be reached. Let's look at this for an example. Let's say that A and A prime A <coughs> are communicating and A wants to send this uh, a, a frame to A prime. So what A does, it first sends this frame along its along the along its interface that is interface one, and when switch the switch receives this uh, this frame, it records the MAC address of A and and its interface. <coughs> And the interface in this table it also puts TTL which just says how long this entry is going to be valid so this this approach of the switch can be coded up using an algorithm and you can <coughs> can take a look at this but I'll just show you to via an example we just looked at where <coughs> look that at look that we just noted that when a wants to communicate with a prime what it sends up it sends the packet it sends a frame along uh, interface one, and do and the switch intercepts this frame. The switch then notes that the MAC address of A is A, and it's and the interface through which A can be reached is one. The next question is how does uh, the switch reach A prime? It does not know currently uh, how to which interface A prime is connected. So what it does, it sends a broadcast message. Basically, it floods this. A packet along or I would say I should say frame along each of its uh, outgoing interface it, it is it is clear that a prime <clears throat> because it's in this network it should be connected to at least one of these outgoing interfaces and as a result a prime can re uh, receive this frame next let's assume that a prime now wants to contact 
A. What it does is it sends <laughs> the packet or sorry, it sends the frame along interface 4 and when the switch rece receives this frame, what it does is it, it extracts A prime and puts basically in the MAC address A prime, the interface 4 and another TTL. To forward this uh, frame to A, it does not need to broadcast or flood this frame. A, it knows that A is reachable through A uh, through interface 1 because this information is available in the switch table. So what the switch does is that instead of broadcasting or flooding this frame, it just looks at this uh, table and sends the frame <clears throat> along interface 1. In this way, this is how switches populate their switching tables and are self-learning. <laughs> It's also clear, it, it's also very simple that switches can be connected together. Switches can be connected together in this form and they can form a hierarchy. It is, it is actually true that institutions connect switches in this network. So, so there's a question for you is if the A wants, if A, this, this host here, wants to send some datagram, uh, sorry, some frame to this host, G here, the question is how does switch S1 no, it has to forward the datagram to switch S4 and, and then to switch S3. So the answer to this question is that switches are self-learning. And so you can, this is similar to the way what we, similar to what we discussed in the previous slide, you could ha ha populate the switching tables at S1, S2, S3, and S4, such that the, the, the frame from A passes through S1, S, uh, S4, and S3, and finally reaches G. So this slide here shows how an institution's uh, network is connected via switches. So there are multiple switches within the network which are then connected <clears throat> to another switch and this switch, this switch is then connected to the router. So this is the gateway router of the network which is then connected to the e <coughs> external internet. So we would con I would like to conclude this video by just pointing out the differences between switches and routers. Both switches and routers store and forward, but the most important difference is that routers are network layer devices, whereas switches are link layer devices. As routers are network layer devices, they examine network layer headers. On the, on the, on the, in contrast, switches being link layer devices examine link layer headers. Next, both switches and routers have forwarding tables. However, routers compute their tables using routing algorithms and IP addresses. Switches, on the other hand, use MAC addresses and, the, and, the, and they populate the forwarding table via self-learning. With this, I'll conclude my, this lecture. Thank you for watching.